extension injury, maybe an ACL sprain, because uh, with ACL, you're trying to protect against hyperextension. Hyperextension is something that puts a lot of strain on the ACL. Um, so same position as we've used previously to tape the knee and the hip with a tape roll under the heel. Uh, we're gonna use the same, very similar technique that we used for the MCL and LCL, where we're doing sort of like a check rein. Um, and because we're coming down, this tends to be a very sensitive piece of skin back of the knee, so we're going to protect it just with a heel pad. Now, again, for males um, with a lot of hair, you may want to pro-wrap it. Pro-wrap, of course, lessens the effectiveness of the, of the tape job, so if you're going to do it, you know, chronically for a bit, uh, you may want to have them shave your legs, or not, you could end up waxing them too. <coughs> So like we did before, two, two anchors with the stretch tape. This is just the heavy stuff oh, okay. that we're so using. You can use either? Yeah, okay. yeah. Whatever you might have. Uh, again, depending on the size of the athlete, how big their muscles are, you may have to use the heavier stuff. You might find the light stuff just doesn't fit. Um, the heavier stuff is about three times the price, so we're going to use up the little bit that we have, and we'll get some other stuff on order if we're rushing. So, so if you run a team, you can probably bring in half of tape at all just to make sure. Use it. white, white regular tape, and make sure you're not wrapping it real tight, so you're not restricting that. Would you get them, if you're just using the white tape, would you get them to kind of flex a little bit? You could, on? yeah, just you could sure. just make sure you lay it on real nice. It's just serving the purpose of being an anchor, so. Yeah. But yeah, you'll find that in amateur sport a lot. There's a lot of teams can't afford to buy, like this stuff's $114 for that tape. <laughs> Lightweight stuff is quite a bit cheaper. I think the lightweight stuff might run about forty or fifty dollars a case, so you can always go to that. But <coughs> I'm videoing this. Yeah. No. The only difference you can choose to do the <coughs> where you're doing the X, but I find just running strips up the back of the knee works just as well. We're actually not trying to support a specific collateral ligament, we're just trying to limit that <coughs> extension. Does it matter which way you tape, whether you're going medially, medially or laterally? <coughs> no. And again, this, depending on the size of the athlete, the sport, the demand will determine how many of these you lay, lay down the coach. Depending on the amount of support you're looking for from the athlete. Again, can't say I use this a lot. I would say probably minimum of three. Yeah, because you're not going to have, even with three, you're not going to have a, a whole lot of effectiveness in terms of lasting tension. So, so when you're doing your tape job and you have 
wrinkles like that? Are we okay? Or yeah. are we okay? No, we're not counting wrinkles in it. Just well. check it. <laughs> Introduction to taping, you have to understand why you're taping, what the straps are for, it's your closing windows, that you understand the principles and anchors and check rings and how it's all held together. And so for a specific injury, how would you tape this? Practically, if you're not real great with your hands yet, that's okay because it's a practice thing. Even for me, I get rusty when I haven't taped for a long time. You know, unless you're working with a professional football team, we're doing ankles every single day, hundreds of them. That's how you get really proficient with it. So those guys can SARS? I have no, I don't have SARS. Okay, I'm just saying because you just hang around while and squinty at people. Yeah, and I mean, I think I would probably just put that man in the period because again, you want some tension in there. So. Uh, this is for an ACL. It can be for an ACL, yeah, if you're trying to limit hyperextension in regards to that ACL. Yeah. I hope I draw that one out of the hand. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah. mechanism for an ACL sprain is Stretchy tape, you just want to close off with regular tape just so it doesn't. Have some hyperextension issues. Yeah. I think that, yeah. I kind of do sometimes. Oh, okay.